Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right so here we are in audacity and i'm live here i'm going to set my levels live with you to show you how to properly set your levels before you start recording uh, there's a couple things that we need to set properly here before we even begin setting our levels inside audacity but before we get to that I have the Scarlett 2i2 third gen as my audio interface here. It's the interface that I recommend probably more than any interface out there. Um, however, I will say, if you're a voice actor, just go with the Scarlett Solo. That's all you need. You know, the 2i2 gives you two inputs. The Solo gives you one. You only need one input. It's all you're ever going to need is a voice actor. So save yourself the money. Get yourself a Solo. Anyway, that's the interface we're using today. Now, before we actually start setting our levels, a couple of things I want you to do. First off, let's go ahead and go where you see the regular cursor. Go down to where it's a double arrow pointing up and down. Left click, hold down, pull that all the way down. I like to do this so that I can see what I'm doing on a much greater level. Um, okay, now, the next thing I wanna do is you see up here where you have your recording level for your monitoring meter. Well, first things first, actually, go to the very end and let's drag this puppy all the way to the end, much like we did with the uh, other meter before when we were customizing our meter. And the second thing I want to say is you see where this recording level is at 50? Go ahead and bump that up to 70. And right there. Okay, now the reason that we had to do this is because if you don't bump that up to 70, um, as you increase the gain on your interface, you're going to you're going to experience um, limiting basically inside audacity for whatever reason, it will cut you off at a certain point, it won't let you go past like negative six dB unless you increase this up to like around 70. Okay, so we've increased it. And because we've increased it, it has increased our levels. Now, normally, what I tell voice actors is the only level, the only knob, the only fader, the only thing that you're ever going to need to touch when it comes to your gain is the gain knob on your interface, this gain knob right here on the focus right. Now, I, that's normally the case, but with Audacity, you do have to do that extra step that I just did. Audacity will likely remember that and you'll never have to do it again. So from here on out, after you've done what we just did with the monitoring level and increase that thing, you're never going to need to touch any other fader, any other knob when it comes to setting your gain ever again, except for the, the gain on your focus right. Okay, I wanted to make that very clear. Now, with that said, there's, a, there's two different reads that we're going to be talking about here. One is a very conversational read. That is the read that you're going to most likely get in the majority, the vast majority of your auditions. They want you... Uh, right now, I'm kind of projecting, but what they want is what they call dinner table talk, where you are talking. How would you talk to a friend or a family m member across the dinner table? You wouldn't be projecting like I am right now. They would think you're crazy. <laughs> so instead, you'd be at a very conversational tone. You'd be more down here like, hey, how was your day? You know, what were you up to? You'd be down here instead of projecting like I've been projecting. And you can already see my levels have decreased because I'm not projecting anymore. I'm doing the conversational read, which is normally what they want. Now, back to me projecting for whatever reason, um, there's a secondary read that you're going to need to do, which is, okay, let's say you have a video game or an animation audition where you have to go from talking really quietly to yelling really loudly. There's multiple, multiple ways to record something like that, and make sure you go to the video in my course uh, that covers this. Um, and, and, you know, basically you can find out the multiple ways that you could record an audition where you have to talk really softly and then yell. There's multiple ways to do it. 
the way that we're going to cover today is um, basically just uh, making sure that you have your gain low enough before you even start a read like that. So the first read we're going to do is the conversational one. So here we go. I'm going to turn my gain down really low to start at a really low point and just work my way up from there because I think a lot of people would probably do this anyway. So let's do that. All right, so now I'm going to read in a very conversational tone, dinner table talk. I'm talking to my friend across the dinner table. As you can see, these levels are incredibly low. This will not suffice. This will not do. So I need to raise them, okay? So let's go ahead and let's, let's turn our levels up a bit. All right, now I'm around 12 o'clock. So as you can see, this is already better, okay? Conversational tone. This is better than it was, but it's still too low. So let's go a little bit. Let's go to like 1 or 2 o'clock in that area. Okay, and now as I'm talking conversationally, that looks much better than it did before. Okay, those are kind of the levels that you're looking for. I might even be able to increase this a little bit more. But, you know, you're kind of, you're just wanting to live in the yellow of your meter, somewhere between negative 12 and negative 6 dB. You know, you just want to be in that yellow. That's what you're looking to do, be in the yellow of your meter. And this looks fantastic. This would absolutely be wonderful levels for a conversational voiceover read. However, if you get a read, for like a video game or animation or even a commercial read, it could be all different kinds of genres that would have you do this where you have to talk quietly and conversationally like this and then you got to yell really loud. Well, what would you do in that case? Well, in that case, there's multiple ways, but the way we're going to talk about today with setting levels is we're going to just record too low when it comes to the talking parts, okay? We're just we're going to record too low because they understand it, this is kind of a complicated thing to get right. So let's get too low. Okay, and now we're too low. You know, this isn't great, right? But if I have a dynamic read where I've got to talk like this, and then I've got to get kind of loud and yell about something, check that out. I didn't clip when I got loud because I had my, my uh, you know, my levels were set pretty low for the talking part. I could actually bring this up even more, so let's do that. Okay, so we have a conversational read. We're talking like this, and then somewhere in the script, we've got to get really loud, and we've got to talk louder than we were talking before. And yet again, you can see I'm not clipping. However, <laughs> if I were to improperly set my levels, and if I were to start somewhere like this, where uh, I was going to do a really dynamic read, and I'm talking, I'm talking, conversational tone, and then i got to get rid... Well, immediately you could see I clipped, okay? And, and look, you could even see I clipped before even getting to zero dB. And again, it goes back to me having to raise the level of that monitor um, uh, meter in the beginning of this video. It, it's just the way Audacity functions. Not sure why they did it that way. Um, but in order for me to get to zero dB, I would probably need to raise this up even higher. And let's just go to like 80 and let's test that. Okay, now we're at 80. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clip the audio. Go ahead and I'm sorry for your ears. Clip audio. Okay, there you go. You go to 80 and you can actually get to zero dB, whereas you couldn't before. But anyway, let me let me back these down. Okay, and now we're at about 12 o'clock. And again, you can see these levels are pretty good. But again, I'm back to projecting a little bit because I'm back to teaching. I don't know why I do this. But that's a really good look at how you set your levels. Uh, uh, I heard this saying from an engineer a long time ago, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm stealing that. That's a fantastic saying. In the green, a little lean. In the yellow, let it mellow. In the red, almost dead. So with that saying, obviously, you know, you want to live in the yellow of your meter. And in the yellow, that's literally around negative 12 to negative 6 dB in between there. You're going you want to just average your audio in there. Now, of course, you're going to fall into the green from time to time and you're going to rise above into the red from time to time. That's OK. Th those that's just called dynamics. That's just human. But you just want your average audio to live in that yellow as much as possible. And you can see I've got good levels here. Um, everything looks good. So anyway, that's how you properly set your levels. I'll see you in the next video.